The Kentucky Derby? Check. The Preakness? Check. Now, only the Belmont Stakes stands between California Chrome and becoming the first Triple Crown winner in the last 30 years. California Chrome was all that a bag of chips and a free soda down in Maryland today when he wins by more than a length and a half over Ride On Curlin and a charging social incursion. A lot of people didn't think he could do it because none of the horses in this race ran in the back in the Derby. In fact, the same thing is going to happen in the Belmont a couple weeks from now. That's what um, these owners like to do. Bring their horses in fresh to try to gun at the one guy trying to win the whole thing, the Triple Crown. Something that just has been elusive. Now, I don't really know a lot about horse racing, but I got into it a little back about a decade ago thanks to the horse from the wrong side of the tracks, a.k.a. Smarty Jones. We're from Philadelphia here. You see the Philadelphia Eagle logo over my shoulder. Smarty Jones raced down at the local racetrack. He was what a lot of breeders would call a mutt. He had no bloodlines. He was basically a cheap horse, if you will. And he shocked the world, winning the Kentucky Derby, running away with the Preakness, and had a lead in the Belmont Stakes before getting run down by Birdstone to break our hearts. We hadn't won the 2008 World Series yet. We were still starving for a championship, and I think Smarty Jones would have went down Broad Street with his own parade had he won that day. But I digress. That's going to be the problem at Belmont for this horse, California Chrome, because he did look like he was being run down a little bit, and it's a lot longer race, like about a mile and a half at the Belmont Stakes, so he's going to have to have more endurance. It's just not all about speed. Now, he's not exactly the fastest horse in the world. Social Incursion is known for being faster, so maybe this is the one horse, though he's not running away with the uh, first two races. He may have the kind of energy stored in his muscles and oxygen that's required to win the Belmont Stakes. Maybe he could run all three races hard and have enough left in him. That's the big problem also. Usually the winner of the Belmont Stakes hasn't raced in all three races. So that's another mountain that has to be climbed by this California Chrome. But if you look at this horse, there's something special about it. Just by the way it looks, it's shiny, like a shiny copper penny, a.k.a. California Chrome. Well, it's been a big day in horse races, horse racing. I don't know if anybody made a lot of money, because he was the odds-on favorite to win. But there you have it. California Chrome wins the Preakness. Also, with the Kentucky Tur Derby in his pocket, he goes on to the Belmont Stakes with a chance to become the first Triple Crown winner in over 30 years. Go Chrome.